It's my stupid ray gun. How you doing, sir? I, uh, noticed you're a caveman. Yep. Well, have I got an opportunity for you. A caveman reality television show. With, with you, you as the star. star. Uh, you know, I'm a caveman. I like doing caveman things. You know, like, uh, stealing giant eggs. Stuff like that. Well, that's too bad. A caveman like you? There isn't a hunk of meat on a bone big enough that you couldn't have. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you spoke caveman. Maybe we can work something out after all. And just think of the broads. Uh, what's, what are broads? Broads are like her, over there. Only more elegant. And they shave their legs. Shave their legs? What's, what does that mean? When shave. you shave, it's... it's when you remove hair from a part of your body. <laughs> what? Disgusting. <laughs> really? Yes. You know who doesn't have hair? Who? Cave babies. Cave babies? Caveman babies. Babies. Human babies. Babies? Yes, babies. Yeah, baby. It's the Baby Network, where babies run the show. Coming up next, the worst we made ever. You have got to be the worst roommate ever. You haven't taken the first step in getting a job. Before we moved in, you told me that you did dishes, that you like to clean up. You haven't done a bit of it. You don't flush the toilet if you even use it. Seriously, I just, I don't even know what to do about this. I'm going to move out. All right, all right, I'll stay. Cut, 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 cut. Listen. I know that he's playing a lazy, oblivious character. But he's but I, just a... I know that he wants to be immersed in the character, but he hasn't talked to me the whole time that we've been working on this show. Not but one the word. Seasons, it's, the season's almost over. Can you... I, I can't, I can't look at him. Fine. Fine. I'll stay. Oh, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Logan. Good 
boring, boring reality. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Logan. Good morning. Chris. Where's the coffee? I feel like I never see you without a coffee. What's going on? You know what? I don't want to talk about it. As you know. On this show, we normally talk about reality TV shows, but today we're going to talk about experimental director Bill Ted's Charlie, a reality movie. Documentary. <laughs> reality movie? <laughs> Documentary. It's, well, okay, I know it's a reality movie. A documentary, actually, in which this <laughs> sorry excuse for a director, yeah. Bill Ted, chose to film a buffoon, a lazy buffoon, ah, a, eating cake, a man. and flossing his teeth and combing his hair, a man, and sitting around giggling to himself about a book. A man All in alone. America. A man in America. Charlie. From work to home, Charlie exhibits the behavior of the everyman. He's highly emotional, but he doesn't allow that to get in the way of his Charlie time. Which there is a lot of. Although he works with food all day, Charlie often passes up the free meal simply for the enjoyment of foraging at home. Some say potato, some say potato. Charlie say, give me a pencil so I can draw that yam. Status update, I drew my yam and now I'm going to eat it. In an attempt to catch Charlie in his natural environment, we find that he always seems to know when someone's watching him. Hi. And why wouldn't we be watching him? With sweet action like this, how can you look away? It's so good. But there's no need to be concerned. His conscience is just as strong as his sweet tooth. And so when the day is done, it's time for one more cup of tea. I almost forgot. You silly old bear. You never forget to floss. So there you have it. Charlie. A man. A master of life. Look at him meditate and you will see that he is your guide. And trust me, there's more to him than it seems. I think you agree, right? surprise. A surprise crafted perfectly for you in your doubt. I love surprises. Director Bill Ted. 
Director Bill Ted, looks like uh, you uh, didn't choose coffee today either. <laughs> Look, if anyone wants to ask me questions about the movie, I need questions about the movie. All right, I have I a need question. For direct, you. yeah. Mr. What? Ted, do you mind if I call you Mr. Ted? I, is that a question about the movie? You. I love this movie. Good question. Is that you. a question? That wasn't a question, but I ask a question. What is you, what was your intent in in filming Charlie? What what exactly were you trying to capture? Well, I don't ever movie? think I, I I I never told you that Charlie was a hero. I just told you Crystal that there it. is a film called Charlie, and that you're allowed to watch it. Yes. I'd be better here. <laughs> <laughs> like, this this poor here. excuse for reality can, television, which we know is is ultimately the highest the highest art form. You two are you two are cute together. So. We've never met. I've never really met him actually. We talked so? a little bit backstage. Well, you're a lovely couple. Mm. We're not a couple. We're not really a couple. We just met each other. Well, you're a lovely couple of gentlemen. That's all I know. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I like that. I like that too. <laughs> Surprise. Well, I don't think you liked my movie. What part of the script? What What gave you that? I was appalled by your movie. Let me ask some questions about my movie. Why did I make my movie? Well, I made it because Charlie's beautiful. Charlie does things fast, and Charlie does things hard. What does he he didn't do any besides? of those things while I was recording him, but he did important things while he was alive. He's not dead now. The movie's important because, well, I made another movie that was important. And that people liked, and people should, you know, continue to like things that I make. I am Bill Ted. Well, good morning, reality. There you have it. Bill Ted and... <laughs>